So I want to backtrack, my man, because you made a comment. You said that Tupac had two guns when he was at your house recording. Because it's a known fact that when Tupac was getting robbed at Quad Studios, he attempted to try to pull out a gun. And you also said Tupac was acting nervous when he was at your house recording. Yeah, he did. He did. So that's why I think he worked, made that song like that, saying people were trying to kill him. I think all that was mentally in his mind when, when he heard the beat that I did with the ammo lamps running back and forth through it. He probably was like, this is perfect. And that song itself goes down in a hip hop hall of fame. Like I get offers to this day about that song. They be like, yo, I want to buy that master. I offer you 50,000. I'm like, nope. Right. Did you know Jimmy Hinchman was the one that killed patient Tupac while he was at your house recording? Did Tupac make any comments to you about Jimmy Hinchman patient him? Nah, yeah, they said that afterwards, like when I started to see, when I seen the interviews and read the vibe and a few other, that, and I, I realized after that, that's who he was saying was calling him. But at the time, I didn't know who Jimmy was, you know, so I had no idea who these guys were and how serious of a situation it, it was going to be. I knew little Sean at that time because I would run into him because he would come uptown with his drop top Lexus. He used to have a drop top Lexus at that time. And he would pull up out Rucker and he'd be jumping out to like on the roof like he had a drop top. So he'd be standing up. You know, it's a performance thing for him. And uh, he was always, we was always cool. So, but I didn't never know the ties to everything at that time. Yeah, man. Tupac was actually going to Quad Studios to do a song with Little Shine, but Tupac didn't tell you, though, right? Nah, he didn't tell me because I think he wanted me to stay in the DJ's place in a, or a music producer's place. You know, he didn't want to be like coming to me, telling me his issues. So I, that's why I think I didn't know, which I am glad that I didn't know because maybe, You're right. you know, it, it, I would have been not here. <laughs> you never know, you know? Right, right. What was the last words he said to you before he left your studio? Um, he just was like, all right, Ron G, yo, 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 I can't wait to hear that shit, man. Like that was his thing. And what I also want to say is that, um, you know, I had did a party in New Jersey one, one day. Um, I forgot what part of New Jersey I was in and the outlaws came to me. I was doing a party in the skating ring or something. The outlaws came to me and they said to me, like I was DJing. People were on the skates and all that. And and they was they came to me and said, Yo, G, the outlaws is at the door and they want to see you. And I was like, let them in. You know what I mean? So they all came in. It was like five of them. Shout out to the outlaws. You already know. Rest in peace. You know, to to the outlaws that are no longer here with us. But Edi I mean, that's my that's my boy right there, you know. And um and Young Noble, that's my peoples. Um but they came to me and they said, your Pac just want to let you know you ain't got no he knows you ain't got nothing to do with that. He's seen you his love. So all I needed to hear, that eased a lot of the pain that I had because I was like, you know what I mean? I have never seen him after that, you know? Wow. I saw the outlaws, but I never saw them. How did you feel when Tupac said that Big Stretch has something to do with him getting set up at Quad Studios? Because he was actually at the studio with y'all recording prior to the incident. I was shocked. I, I I didn't understand why he would think that. I didn't understand what was going on. Um, since then, I learned a lot about, you know, money, people, things change, people change. So I just couldn't believe that he thought that, you know? So I wasn't quite sure why he would think that, but he must have felt something, you know, I don't know. And then I heard Stretch had got killed and, you know, it was just like, to way too much for me. I'm just like, man, this is nuts. So I was just really like shocked that he would think Stretch has something to do with it. And when both of them was at your studio, the vibe was good, right? You didn't see no signs that he knew something was gonna happen to Tupac nah, later. Yeah, day. I had no idea. You know, that's his boy. I'm just happy they both are here, you know, at the studio, so. Out of curiosity, man, did you know Big Stretch besides him coming to your house with Tupac to record a song they did for your mixtape, the day of the Quad Studios incident? Well, I never really met him. I only met him that day when he came to the studio. I, I, I was really it for me. I never, all I knew was I was saw him in the new, the new video he had out. It was a live squad it was, I think the name of the, his crew. Um, but I had, I had never met him prior to that. I was, it was just 
I knew that was Tupac homie, and if that was Pac homie, that was my homie. I was like, yo, come in. You know what I mean? And I have I didn't really know him at that time. What was you thinking, man, when you were seeing all this going on? You know, you being in the studio with Tupac, then hours later he gets shot at Quad Studios, then he get accused of rape, then he goes to prison for sexual assault. What was you thinking, my man? Well, I was just thinking that, you know, I was saying I was confused because I was like, Tupac, to me, didn't seem like the type of dude that had to, like, rape a girl. You know, he's a, he's a celebrity. He's fit. You know what I mean? He's active. He's a movie star. He's talented. I'm, like, saying to myself, like, but why would he have to, why would, I, I felt like it possibly was a setup for him. You know what I mean? And I was concerned, be, but as a DJ, you know, it was nothing I could say or do. But I was just troubled by that. I was just like, yeah, I don't understand. Because I'm like, he just came out with Brenda's Had a Baby, I Get Around, and all these women's songs. And then all of a sudden he falls into that situation. I felt like he possibly was set up. 